Hello, really excited that today is Global Accessibility Awareness Day. And to celebrate and to spread news about all the amazing work and support that is going on in this area in video games. And also recently um, we've been learning about board games too and, and supporting things there. First, I just wanted to really thank our financial supporters who have made the site possible and what it is today. Without PlayStation, without Karina Initiatives, without IGEA, Ask About Games and the VSC Rating Board supporting us, we wouldn't be able to offer the service that we do. But there are loads of other organisations and individuals that we've either worked with or learnt from that again have made the Family Gaming Database what it is today. And I just wanted to give a shout out to some of these amazing organisations and people. So um, Can I Play That, D Dagan System, a Game Lover, Special Effect, Able Gamers, the Playability Initiative, Game Accessibility Nexus, Game Critics, One Switch, Triple Tap Tech, and over on Board Games, Meeples Like Us, and Colorblind Games, and a whole load of amazing accessibility consultants who have worked with us to make sure that we're providing the best we're able to in terms of information. Um, just going down the list, Brian Chandler, uh, Michael Heron, Sarah Reed, Angela Hickman Newman, Ian Hamilton, Brandon Cole, Sightless, Jesse Anderson, Antonio Martinez, Dr. Amy Kavanagh, Chris Goodyear, Brian, Jonah Monahan, Eamon Gaudi, and Adam Koskowski. This means that we've now got this fully functioning accessibility search for both video games and board games, as you can see. And we're working hard to make sure that that data is both accurate um, and detailed, but also is a really good coverage in terms of scope of the games that we know about. So we daily go to our database and make sure that those games are up to date. And it's great to see with this support, we're making that good progress and approaching 20,000 data points in our accessibility data set. But what I've really enjoyed about this work is learning from some amazing people, forming some new and long friendships and being sort of welcomed into this accessibility community and also getting a better understanding of some barriers I have in my own playing of video games and how best to work with those to make sure that I can enjoy the games that I want to play. So I'm really looking forward to seeing all the other activity that's going to be happening for Game Accessibility Awareness Day today and also the things that's been happening all through the month. I just think you're all amazing. So I look forward to talking to you in person soon.